Shin. Uh, so action. Wednesday morning. Yes. Back on the uh, road. There's the little extension we did next door. So we're doing a bit of um, remodelling on this one. So just we don't have tools we need, so we're just filling the barrel with power tools and see what happens when we get up there. So um, we'll get back to you when we get up there and tell you what we're doing, what's going on. Oh yeah. Went to Rosbottom yesterday and got half a ton of stone and sand mix ready for concreting as we'll be doing a little foundation later. So let's get to it. So we've come through the garage into the sort of utility at the back. Um, I think the previous owners used to have a car or something. Well, obviously they had a car. Well, they used to car maintenance. So this used to be up and over door, same as the front, so they could take the car right through. As you can see, there's a steel across the top, which is rusting and blowing the brickwork as it does. And this is just, just a cheap patch job that they've done. A bit of panelling, which is rotting. It's gone! So the customer's concerned about it rotting. So that's coming out. That steel's coming out. Bit of patchwork to do up there. A few bricks to fix. And we're gonna build this up with what they called Carlton Heathers or something similar. We haven't got the bricks yet, we'll pick them up. So we'll be toothing this out, taking this out, and we're gonna dig down and put a little bit of footing in. The door's fine. Um, not sure what we're doing with the door yet, but the door's getting refitted. But um, that's it for now. So the main thing is get all this out, get all this up, and dig down for footing, and there's a man all there. So we need to do something with that. I think what we're gonna do is put a lid on the outside, so you can still get access to it and put a flag over the inside and concrete over it so you can still get access to the drains with it being right in under the wall that's um, yeah, that's today's job mainly the demolition and the foundation and then go and pick up the materials and stuff we need so let's get cracking right so it didn't take much work to get the, uh, the ply out and it just fell off didn't it? yeah but um, I want to show you this it's had like a really cheap like, patch job on it it's had Read a paper put over it and then a piece of ply with a few tacks in it because of that. It smells really damp, doesn't it? Mm. Now we've uncovered it. It's what it's the steels. The steels destroyed everything. So we come around the other side. Bit of a monstrosity. You can see it's getting in. Yeah. It's obviously wet there all the time and then it's through there. So it's knackered. So she's just a bit concerned about it flooding and leaking and over you, whatever. So for a good reason. Yeah. So we're going to build it back up as a nine-inch wall because that's a nine-inch pillar. So it's nine-inch wall. And as I say, get rid of that horrible steel. Yeah. If you can see as well, it's also caused big crackage up there. So it's not doing any good at all. The sooner that gets out, the better. Right. Came in today. 
We need therapy when you uh, yeah. make break stuff. In the van, yeah. I wasn't expecting the bottom to pop out. No. We'll look at the state of it. The bottom now. Oh yeah, I had a, a note in my pocket. I'm gonna pick it out of the pocket before when we got here. It said big breaker with the wheelbarrow. So we forgot the big breaker. So that slab's gotta be broken up for us to dig through it. So we've got the two little ones, but the big one would have just made light work of that. Anyway. Same as D and J. Leave the big breaker at home at your peril. Where's all our tools? Which ones? On bucket of tools? There. I brought the I brought the ring. Um, we need to get this. This will set the alarm if it gets damaged. So we need to travel somewhere to tease oh, these out. Yeah. <laughs> Is that our tool? Yeah. How much damage does it come up like that? I don't know. That's why I asked for the keys because I thought it was still in the air. Are they like staples? Yeah. Look at that. That's the staple bird, isn't it? Yeah. Right, now we can, once we get this one out, we can pop that out of the table at the top. There's a couple of sensors down here, so we'll pop that off. And we'll pop this one off. Oh yeah, quick one. That rotten panel in saw belly that we've took out is MDF. Which, as you know, MDF when it gets wet is like a sponge. It's only into timber anyway, so we just need to get the rest of this frame out and then we can pull the door out. Yank it. Okay, we've had to do it the concrete with the little iron hole and the tighten, but we're not touching it really. So the plan is, um, I'm just going to mark out where the trench is going, a nice straight line, patching back up, both sides, and I'm going to mark that, do that grinding, both sides, and I'm going to do all the grinding up here for the tubers, taking all the miles out. 
even though we can't match the brick, it's still a better tooth in. Um, and I'm going to rip off and get the breaker. Skip still over here, so I'm going to get the breaker and I'm also going to carry on with these two before I'm away. Oh, it needs to be 150 past. Do a tape. For our trench. Um, be in the bucket. Yeah, so there's our manhole lid. Just look how rusty that is. He hasn't gone through it. And it's been sealed with silicon, so we're going to get that lid out. Lintel over the manhole. Flag on this side, seal it up, and put this cover on this side so you still get access to the to the drains. It's going to be a smaller hole, but at least you'll be able to get in with the rod and up there to that. It's pretty much useless at the moment, but we should never completely go over a manhole like that. If there's a chamber there, it's got to be accessible. So anyway, um, yeah, we'll uh, get on with the mess again. Rinsing the teeth on this side. And this is our trench. Well, our trench guy actually so concrete can be slightly wider than that. And it did down a bit. Like that way. There you go. Here's our trench mark. That's plenty wide enough for a 9 inch wall. There you go. So, I'm going to grind those two lines so we'll get a nice neat join. And then, again, two of these. Show the tooters now, ready for you now. Hey, that's the tooters ready for me to knock out. Yeah, just need to drill them because you've got like you cut there, cut there, but you've got a little like a little bit in the corner, I'm still holding them in, and the brick is three three inches because of the back of the brick is still only snapping off. So it'll probably be the breaker and then drill out the bit at the back. We'll see how they go. But um Start at the top because if you start at the bottom, uh, yeah, if you start at the bottom, where you were, if you took that one out, you're banging this one, it's a chance that that could snap because there's nothing supporting it. So, you always do your two that's top to bottom, cut them out however you like, but actually taking the bricks out top to bottom always, so there's always something to work on. So, so that's one side done, I'm just getting it the other side cut now. Luckily, it's nice soft concrete.
Right, 45 minutes I've been out in the foam to get the to get the bully. Can't believe we forgot it, but it was worth 45 minutes to go get it. Although Alex has been busy with the little ones. That's the Titan that isn't it? <coughs> yeah. Yes, the Titan's done that side. He's got all the two of them done. He's only managed to break two, which is not bad going on that many, because it's quite hard sand and cement. It always makes it difficult. So I've got this side to come out now, but we have reinforcements, so that shouldn't take long. Still waiting on our skin, so we'll just break all this out and pile it for now. Once you get past all the air, concrete is just... Weird that, isn't it? It's quite loose. Packed in snow, yeah. So I can just, I can literally just keep getting out. Yeah. Right, well let's, let's get it cracking then. I'll get this big breaker going. It's going to be awkward to dig in there, because it's only a small hole. This side should be a bit easier. But, um, yeah, so um, Alex is jumping on the big breaker. I'm going to get these halves out, get this all tidied up. And then we need uh, six acros, six strong boys to get this prop to either side. Above the brick and edge so they can come out and on the other side. Under that block work. And then um, we'll pick the rest of the materials up tomorrow. Maybe tonight, hopefully, but we'll see how we go. We've got to get all this dug concreted before we go anywhere. The concrete's the priority. And it's going to rain soon, so let's just get cracking. Beautiful job. So what I might do is grind around this manhole cover so we take the concrete out neat and we can drop the flag in then and okay. concrete over the top of the flag. Yeah. Right, leave that now mate, just get the rest of the broke up. It's time lapse. There we have it, 12 o'clock. That thing made light of work of that concrete. Just a bit too much for the, uh, the Titan, but that thing, it's just, it's a beast. So, we're ready for digging now, but we're not gonna start digging, because there's no skip here, so. The skip's going on the grass, so it's not like we can pile it next to the skip. So we have to wait until we can get, take it straight in. So, lunchtime since it's 12 o'clock. Alex has done well there while I've been away. Got all the tubers done and then I broke. He broke two, I broke two. But I was trying to get them out without grinding them. This is my fault. Um, there's no need to grind any over there because none of them are going to be seen. Um, yeah, that's it. Just need to get all this crap moved and get digging. So we can get that concrete and done today. Like I say, that trench isn't, doesn't look wide enough. It's not wide enough, but we're going to dig down a bit wider as we go down for the concrete. And then tomorrow, once the concrete's in, we're going to pick up the brick and the block. A couple of lintels to go over that manhole. And the sand and cement and then we can get a uh, oh yeah acros we'll see how we get on we may, may get them today back to Hodgson's again um, yeah so far so good that steel has destroyed that wall which 
just lift you up. There you go. Power of rust. Destructive power of rust. So we're going to get as close as we can to these, but we're not going to get it. We might get something like that. But yeah, that's it for now. We're going to go for lunch now, as I've already said. See you in a bit. Now, back after lunch, still no skip, so we're just going to dig it. Just it there for now, and then bar it through, and the skip comes. So, um, that's it for now. Get digging. Right, what is it, half two? I Steve, so. Quarter to three. Steve's been running a while now, hasn't he? Ten to three. Oh. <laughs> anyway, we're done. That's a good two and a half foot down that. There's the uh, slab for the manhole. And we're also about nine inches below the garage foundation. So we've, un we've gone, un gone underneath a bit to underpin it. We're well tied to the other footings. Yeah, same there. Manhole. Nice, this ground's solid as well, and we've gone right underneath that one. So we're underpinning that too, as long as we've got enough concrete. So, concrete time. Yep. some concrete in there thanks for watching right and that's us done just so the rain tries to die off is when we finish typical as always <laughs> but um we've got them both in that side's in and this side's in both dug to about nearly three foot two and a half foot so there's plenty of concrete in there and they're both underpinned underneath the footings and connected to the manhole footing too so they're well secured in. So, 
tomorrow after this is all dried up, task will be sort this manhole cover out. I'm going to cut down, put a flag here, and then a half a lid here, so there's still some access for this, which is an improvement from it being completely sealed shut. But then um, there'll be two lintels going over that as well for the wall to go in the middle. Um, what else? I think that's it. I'm sure. I'm sure Dad'll correct me if I've done anything wrong. But um, yeah, all in all, not a bad day. A lot easier than I thought it was going to be, at least with the uh, with the concrete coming to about here. I thought it was going to be all the way down, so it's a nice surprise. And of course, two things done. That's all ready. It will uh, we'll be taking it to Berries tomorrow to get the blocks and the bricks, and we can also get that, those steels out then as well. So we'll probably be picking up some macros as well, actually, from uh, either Jeff or we might be going to Hodgins. I'm not sure yet. I'm sure I'll find out, but um, yeah, that'll be, I'll stop rambling now. Thanks for watching the video. I need to uh, remember this routine now that dad always has. So like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. All, yeah, just all in all. All your support is appreciated. So uh, thank you very much. Uh, and until the next time, see you next time. So we've opted for the Maidley mix. But um, we we're just going to get these four lifting, but there's too many um, damaged ones, so we're going to handball them in so we can get us, so we don't have to get a load of crap ones. The only other option is the uh, Tradesman Heather. They're a nib stock alternative to London brick, London Heathers. Miles better brick. But um, they match the house better, but they match the extension better. So let's get loaded. So just a quick one while we're uh, loading these brick out, see all them, and all them, they're all chipped and cracked. They're the, they're the bad ones we got out of that, that many good ones. Out of this many. So we're on to the second part now, hoping there's going to be some better ones in here, because bloody hell, there's probably nearly a hundred crap ones in there. Yeah. And it continues. So uh, we'll throw you back on time, that's so all we arranged for these bricks. <coughs> 240 Maidley Mix. One pound, one pound two each. Oh my God. And that, so we've got 240. That's what's left on the pallet. And that's what we've gone through and rejected. Some of these are shockers. But um, somebody's brought bits back. There's still more from some of them. It's a mess. So that's what's left. I chuck them all in if I could, if I could afford the weights, but uh, we've got blocks and sand to go in yet, so so let's go and get, we've got lintels to get, uh, blocks and sand. Yep. Got this, uh, no we need cement as well, so let's head out.
Right, and that's us done. Just as the rain starts to clear up, now we're finished. Typical, isn't it? But that's in. This one's in. And that's us done. Let's take you around. So that side's in, and this side's in, concrete. And they're both underpinned underneath the uh, foundations. What? Let's try this again. <laughs> 